<clears throat> All right, folks. Here we go. Here we go. Here we freaking go. How's everybody doing? Hey, it's time for Tunes at Noon. It's noon, Central Time, here in US of A, North America, wherever you are. It's always noon somewhere, like 5 o'clock. We're going to play some tunes. We're going to talk about fiddle. We're going to do all kinds of stuff. So, you know, mm. oh, that's good. Hey, let me grab something here. Let me grab something. Just a second. I'll be right back. I'm coming right back. I just walked a few steps. I walked a few steps. How's everybody doing? Good, good, good. I see you've got, got Kim here. It's just, just me, just me and Kim right now. But I'm sure some other people will join us here momentarily. Oh, there's three people watching. Okay, good, good, good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I gotta mute this site here. Hang on, mute, mute. I gotta mute everything. Hang on. So I didn't, I didn't want too much noise going on. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Good, good. All right. So, uh, woohoo! Yeah. Hey, Alan Davis. All right, buddy. So yeah, you know, oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong book. Well, no, I've got the, I've got a bunch of these booklets, books of 78s, and right now I've got, I'm, I'm running a special giveaway. Well, it's not really giveaway. <laughs> I got the Don Messer 78 RPM grab bag going right now. If you go to kofi kofi-fee.com forward slash big fiddle show forward slash shop. Uh, and make a $10 contribution to the furtherance of the program, I'll send you a Don Messer 78 RPM record. And later on, I'm going to have a, a, a Western Swing grab bag. I've got all these 78s, and I'd love to put them in your hands. Also, I've got going concurrently with that is uh, the Fiddle LP grab bag. If you don't want a 78 and you want a 33 and a third, I can hook you up there. So go to Kofi, ko-fee.com forward slash Big Fiddle Show forward slash shop and check that out but now without further ado you know i've got you know i've got allergies everybody knows i've got i've got the allergies <laughs> so it's time for the ceremonial blowing of the nose i don't know how that sounds but anyway let's uh let's play a tune what do you say what do you say oh man when john when if john williams joins us i'm going to uh play for him the Mississippi Waltz, because we've been talking about that tune, he and I. If you're not a subscriber to my Patreon and you want to make a slight contribution to the Big Fiddle Show, just go to co-fee.com forward slash Big Fiddle Show. You can give as little as $2. Or you can, like I say, buy one of the Grab Bag 78s if you want. That's fine. But if you're already a patron, just sit on your hands. Sit on your hands. You don't need to give me. You don't need to This is for you, anyway. So, speaking of Don Messer, let's play. Hey, there's John Williams and Tom Hudson. Wow, wow, we. You know, Thomas Hudson, he really needs one of these Don Messer 78s. Nobody ever needed one of these worse than him, I'm telling you right now. Please announce the key. Yes, okay. Thank you, Al. Oh, yeah, you're playing your banjo. Okay, great. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, so uh, let's play in C. Let's play a few tunes in C. I'm going to try Don Messer's Breakdown in C. All right, so give you a second here to get... Let me make sure I'm in tune. And I'm not going to play them too fast. I was just telling people, John, if when you joined us later, sometime in this program, I will try to play the Mississippi Waltz. I was messing with it earlier today. I don't know if I play exactly Baker's version. I, you know, I play fast and loose with the melody sometimes, doing my own thing, as you heard me do with the Kaiser Waltz on one fateful day. Here we go.
Yeah, Don Messer's Breakdown. Pat's uh, not coming down here. If anything, she's sitting at the top of the stairs waiting for me to come up and vacuum the living room. Because, you know, we, va we vacuum the living room every before every big fiddle show, and that's tonight, you know. So, uh, yeah, Don Messer's Breakdown. Hey, I started digging into this, this thing here. I started digging into this Tommy Jackson collection last night. Man, they, they really did a nice job remastering these those old Tommy Jackson recordings. I'm telling you right now. Well, let's see. Something happened on the phone. Maybe some. Maybe I got a text on the hotline. Let's see. Did I get a text on the hotline? No. No. Oh, I got a notice that I'm live on YouTube. Well, I knew that. Gosh. I mean, who doesn't know that? Let's see if there's any anything happening on the hotline. You know the hotline number is 847-920-7587. It says right here, the Chicago Tribune said you would fail and play one of my favorite tunes tonight. Pin that catfish to the tree in B flat. Yippee. Mm. First off, I'd have to think how nail I think it's nailed the catfish. But I'd have to think how it went. I played it once on a program a while back. That's by my buddy Steve Rosen wrote that many years ago. It's quite a popular piece of music. Don't think it's in B flat, though. I think it's in G. But I could try it. I could try it. I'll try anything. So, uh, yeah, let's play another tune in C. We'll stay in C here for a little bit for Alan's benefit. Okay, Cubic Zirconia. Mmm. Ah, I love the Cubic Zirconia. Yes, Thomas, you do. You need, uh, if, if you only had that Don Messer 78, you'd, everything would be, oh, vastly improved for you. Mmm. Ah, okay, so, let's... I bought those, I bought a big stack of those 78s off of YouTube. Jeez, uh, like, or not off of YouTube, off of eBay, sorry, in the, like in the, the late 1990s. Because uh, there wasn't any YouTube, I couldn't find any of those Don Messer recordings anywhere, so. And I've got quite a few of his LPs, too, but those are the old uh, Apex... Apex uh, record company, Don Messer 78s, produced in Montreal back in the, probably in the 40s or 50s, I think. They're in good shape, most of them. Thank you. Yes, that's in G, that, that catfish tune. Let's play a little jump fingers. Here we go. Jump fingers. Thanks, John. Yeah, that, that Bob Walters, he really tore that, tore that one up. You're right. 
But you know, in the words of Henry David Thoreau, I'd rather be a dead dog, I'd rather be a live dog than a dead lion. <laughs> so you're just going to have to listen to my version for right now. <laughs> Let's see, these noon shows, and sure, I'm actually awake at my... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you off today, John? So uh, yeah, let's let's see if I can do uh, let's see if I can do uh, uh, "Bully of the Town." That's uh, that's a good tune. That's a good, that's a, that's a very good one. Um, that's also in C, by the way. That's also in C. Yes. All right. Let's see if I can get find it. Get to it. Get to it. <laughs> All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, it might have been too long, Rex. Let's see. Educated in music? No, can't, you can't. You can't tell that I'm not. <laughs> Pat is. Pat has a master's degree in vocal performance from the University of Iowa. But no, I went to study. I studied uh, industrial education, and then I became a machinist. I did all kinds of industrial work, mostly, and engineering type things. So, <laughs> oh, four day. Oh man, four days a week. All right. So you must work a long shift every day, huh? Okay, so here we go. All right. What else? What else were we gonna try? Let's let's move over to G. Let's try a little something in G, and then I'll play that. And then here later on in the program, we'll take a short break in the midst of the program, and I'll uh, we'll organize that Mississippi waltz. I think. So let's play something in G now. Let's play a little bit of. with a long john. Here we go.
Natchez Under the Hill is in A. Uh, I haven't played that in a long time. I better not attempt that. I can, I could resurrect it, but that's not one I would uh, be able to play off the top of my head. I used to play it, but not very many times. I learned it once. I'll put it that way. I learned it once. <clears throat> yeah, John, you should learn that long, John. That's a, that's your namesake, you know. <laughs> Play old Fort Smith in G. Smith, you know, North Carolina Breakdown is a tune I learned once when I was playing with somebody at a square dance. They wanted to play that, and I learned it ahead of time, but I can't for the life of me remember how it goes. It's in G, though, you're right. It's, I think I don't remember it because it sounded a little like something else, and I, I try to avoid those tunes. Otherwise, I lose two tunes. Instead of gaining a new one, I lose two because they get all mushed together, you know? Hmm. All right, let's see if anything's happening on the old hotline. No, no, hotline's hotline's quiet. Hotline's very quiet. No, oh, no, rag. Somebody said rag. All right, rag. That's just a 1208. They said rag. Okay, sorry, I missed that one. All right, so let's play a rag. Uh, what's we're in G. Let's what what's a good rag in G? How about uh, how about the dill pickle rag? Uh, and this is going to be uh, this is going to be uh, in two keys though. It's 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 in G. The first two keys are in G. Then in the in the first two parts are in G, but the second part starts on a D. And then the third part's in C, I believe. So let's play a little bit of dill pickle rag if we can here. <laughs> Thank you. 
dill pickle rag. That's kind of the rims of it there, wasn't it? Uh, nervous breakdown. I never learned. That's a cereal tune. That's a Lyman and Low tune, I think. But I never, I never learned that. So can't help you there. Uh, let's see. I never learned so many of Lyman's tunes. Uh, don't know why, but just never did. Never hung out with him that much. All right. So uh, let's see here. Now we're now we're still in G here. Okay. Let me make a note note to self about something here. Hope everybody's coming to the big fiddle show tonight. Starts at eight right here on this same YouTube channel. It's a, gonna be a good one. It's, it's number ninety one. Episode number 91. Can you believe? Can you believe that? No one, no one can believe that. Uh, let's see. What else was I going to write down? Let's see. Uh, what was that other tune? Oh, North Carolina Breakdown. Yeah, I've, I've played all those, but I just, uh, it's been a long time. I think I only played, I think I learned that North Carolina Breakdown one time, like I said, just to play for a square dance when I was playing with some, I know what I was playing with a student of mine who wanted to play a square dance, and that's a tune she knew well, so I learned it. And then I think I promptly forgot it for some reason because I never had an opportunity to play it again. But so let's try something else here. Something else in G. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's play a little bit of Bitter Creek in G. How about that? Bitter Creek, Turkey Knobs in A, I believe. Taney County Breakdown, I never learned. <clears throat> you know, it's just utterly ridiculous how many fiddle tunes there are. And Because I could probably sit here and, you know, recall, I could probably play through four or five hundred tunes without too much difficulty, probably. And uh, if I worked from a list, maybe more than that. But dang, you guys have stumped me today, stumped me today. I never learned Taney County Breakdown. John Williams just sent that in on the hotline. That's one I never did learn. He even gave it two exclamation points, so I better take give it a second look, I guess. <laughs> a turkey knob, let's see. That's not it. I'd have to have my dots to start that, I believe. Let's see if I can bring those up. I'm going to move over to A, Alan, so... Uh, 
Let me see if I can bring up the dots to turkey knob here so I can play it. Uh, can't recall how it goes exactly. That's what dots are good for. That's why I've, in, the, in this, what I call the third era of my fiddling career, in my so-called golden years, if you want to call them that, I'm learning, I'm working from dots a lot more all the time because, you know, I just can't stuff that many tunes in my head anymore. The time of tune stuffing, uh, Turkey Knob, I have never transcribed. Can, are you kidding me? Okay, well, I guess I don't have it then. I, I played it the other night on the show, I'm pretty sure a few weeks ago, because I was resurrecting it from some of Cyril's playing, but I don't think I can play it now. I, There she is, Turkey Knob. It's a Clark Kessinger tune, really, that Cyril, I think, must have learned off of a Clark Kessinger record, because he's the kind of the guy who came out with it first. Here we are in A. Turkey Knob. Well, kids, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to go have some lunch. Hey, no, don't forget. Th thanks, uh, thanks so much for, for all those who came today. Don't forget about my grab bags. Don Messer, 78 RPM. The Fiddle Square Dance LP grab bag. Do not forget about those. I hope to see everybody tonight on the Big Fiddle Show. 8 o'clock right here on this same YouTube channel. So all y'all have a nice afternoon, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye and bye-bonds.